Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar and this is Hot Limode. And today on Hot Limode, we are here at Gucci Vault. This is a one day only, exclusive, super exciting, fun experience here in Milan. And now Gucci is going to be showcasing a bunch of different super exclusive, super exciting items that are coming out of their archive and are being recreated not only by the creative director, Alessandro Michele, but also a bunch of cool up and coming designers that you may know. We're gonna be taking you through, showing you all around, and giving you like the inside scoop so that when you're going online to the new Gucci Vault website, you know what's going on. We are here outside of the Dazio where the Gucci Vault is currently being held in its pop-up capacity. We're also right next to the Arco della Pace, which is a stunning, gorgeous, I don't wanna say knockoff of the Arc de Triomphe because I might get in trouble and never be invited back to Milan, but like, what do I know? I'm an American. So before we get any further into this actual in-store pop-up tour experience, I wanna say a huge shout out to Gucci for sponsoring today's video. Now, Alessandro Michele has said that we called it Vault because a vault is a storage place for beautiful things that apparently have nothing to do with us. But actually, this is not true because these pieces are a true source of life. When you actually get to see the pieces that have been brought out from the actual Gucci archive and sort of brought into Vault, and then see the way that through this video, those pieces have influence many in Alessandro Michele collection. The Gucci Vault not only is this sort of updating of vintage classics that a lot of people might not even know about, but it's also a way to give a historical context, the Gucci design capabilities, fashion tropes that we might not always think about as just observers of this brand. So let's get on with this video. We are standing here with this giant computer, or computer, as they say in Italian. We can actually go on the Gucci Vault website. Oh wow, wait, this like actually works. Vintage bamboo, borsa bamboo, vintage in belle, from the 1960s, and the girls have sold out. Don't speak Italian, so like I have no concept of what it's saying. Technical update, the girls have put it in English, thank God. Listen, we're gonna get a full history lesson. Talks about the sort of post-war experience of Gucci. I mean, the bamboo handles come from the lack of supplies because of World War II. There's a whole sort of real deep, beautiful history in that. And I think that's a great thing with luxury brands is when they're giving you a real true experience and story behind the products that they make that are so unique. A bunch of different, really cool, exciting designers. Kalina Strada, a New York star. We love to see it. Honestly, rather shocked and intrigued to see that there are so many different brands like Aluwalia, Bianca Saunders moment going on in here as well. Jordan Luca, Charles de Villemarin, Bed on Water. Very good taste, not only in archival products, but in young up and coming designers as well. Also, I just wanna like double check if I can like, no, it doesn't click. I tried, I tried. Gigantic Computer is teaching you how to use the Gucci Vault website. And this Gucci Vault website is different than the regular Gucci site. The thing that I find the most sort of entertaining about it is the way that you can actually learn about these styles. On October 15th, which is the day that this video was out, there is the second drop from Gucci Vault. So go and check it out. Cause honestly, this stuff sells up very, very quickly. Okay, so we are now here in the lovely, gorgeous Young Designers room. Come in, don't be shy, it's totally fine. I'm terrified, you shouldn't be. There is a whole grouping of cool, young, amazing designers that Gucci is hosting in the Gucci Vault pop-up and again, on the website, as you saw. So here we have like a whole Kalina Strada section. I just saw Kalina Strada's spring 2022 show in New York. This beautiful gem, it's poofy, it's very sort of Gucci. Again, they're just like different, really cool, intriguing elements that when Gucci said they were hosting up and coming like cool emerging designers I didn't realize they were literally like hosting them in their retail -y spaces. It's a great way to sort of build community in the fashion space. Like nice denim. There's lots of sort of upcycling sort of styles. Kalina Strana loves an upcycled material. Bianca Saunders, nice little khaki sets. A British legend, creator of menswear that everybody wants even if you're not a menswear. There are these big old boots. I mean, who doesn't like a big old boot? Their work you've probably seen on like Chloe and Hallie, Bailey, pieced together by tiny little threads. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry in advance. Okay, so we're gonna try round two of that. I will not throw it on the ground. But like, do we think that I could fit in this? 
You know, like if it's stretched enough. I think I'd look good in pearls. Most excited about, I probably shouldn't say that, but it's the truth. This is the archive room. Yeah, I said that, the archive room. These are all pieces that are from the actual Gucci archive. These styles are going to be recreated in so many cool, exciting, fun, different ways. The Jackie bag, she's back. She's in action, she's living her best life. So let's talk about this vintage leather shoulder bag from the 1970s. Now it's not the same. It definitely does sort of give us a little bit more context on the bag and its meaning. And this is pretty much a smaller version of the Jackie bag. You can sort of see the easiness of a row of your shoulder bag in the 1970s. We sort of look at the context of women's liberation and working women in the world in that context and what this bag means. Not only is it sort of nice and chic looking, but it also has a functionality. And once this bag was brought into the vault, it was hand painted with light blue and red stripes, as we can see, cementing its one of a kind status. A placebo louse, Alessandra Michele, remember, never forget. 2015 menswear collection, legendary. The flora, china, the plates, the glass, is the urn. I'd like my ashes to be put in a Gucci flora urn. Gucci o Gucci, legend, icon star, creator of beautiful luggage, also handler of beautiful luggage when he was a young man working in London. I'm gonna touch it, don't tell anybody. It's soft, it's like a textile, it's like light little cotton that's like been printed. Okay, so here's the thing. When I was looking at all the items in the pop-up, I wasn't really looking at the ties that were in that suitcase, but I should have been because there's a whole section of the Gucci Vault website that has ties. And so like, let's look. Vintage butterfly tie, 1970s. Known as a symbol of change and endurance, the butterfly has been presented throughout the house's collections for decades and can be easily viewed as the embodiment of Gucci's 100 year journey. Where else would you find information on Gucci seeing the butterfly as a motif that they have just shown over and over and over again and again, when you look at Alessandro Bacchelli collections, you can see butterflies in those pieces. And that's the great thing that I love about this website is it really truly is giving you an actual education on the history of Gucci. And you don't even have to buy anything. You probably should buy stuff because again, sells out quickly. But even if you can't, you still can get so much out of it. The Gucci canvas, of course. I mean, done in gorgeous stunning styles, piped in leathers. And again, like cute little floral dresses made for royalty, some may say. It's so fun to see all of these things that are out of the archive and then sort of bring them back into the world of Alessandra Michele's, you know, runways and styles and products. I mean, like, I feel like I've seen this little zebra print before, but not here, but like on the runway. Something about that zebra print really like struck me. I was like, I feel like I have seen that before somewhere. I feel like it's been done 100% had multiple different times by Alessandra Michele. The spring 2017 men's collections. I can't help but think that zebra, a motif moment going on from the archive would not have influenced influenced this dress. And so not only is this something of reissuing and re sort of updating, it's sort of re-educating all of us on what these pieces mean in a wider sort of context for Alessandra Michele and for Gucci. I love it. It's a brand really saying like we care about our history and we want to share that with the everyday person so that it's easily accessible. And that I think is really cool. <laughs> Look at these pants. I feel like those are giving spring 1999. Gucci, iconic, legendary. Oat Ippy. And then I went, of course, on the Gucci Vault website. Now, as we can see, there are a bunch of different floral prints that are very similar to that pant. From spring, summer 1982, this flora print black silk shirt is finished with engraved GG Mother of Pearl buttons and front pleats. The flora motif, a delicate and whimsical composition of flowers, fruits, and insects was created for Gucci in 1966. The print was repurposed for the spring, summer 1982 collection. Part of that collection, the print is shown in a black background of this silk shirt. It was initially made in white. So the background was white and then the florals were on top of it. We can go back and we can sort of look at another pair of pants, which I think are very similar to the ones that we saw in the suitcase. This is from 1999. The intriguing thing about them is they were created under the creative direction of Tom Ford for a spring 1999 collection. This collection is very much so hippie inspired. Again, when you look at that late 90s era of Gucci, there was a lot of 1970s influence throughout those collections. It's just sort of how it worked. And so it's really nice to like see these styles be brought back, reissued. And if you really love these pants and you really wanted them, you have to be on the website to buy the stuff because it sells out. And once it sells out, it sells out. So see some stuff on Cook. 
all the way up there. Bed on Water by Chanel Campbell. I don't know what that means, but I'm into it. Is it like a water bed, but for fashion? Could possibly be. Of course, you have Jordan Luca, a British and Italian brand that I believe is based in London, but has 50-50 Italian roots. It 100% is an Italian, not in the sense of it's entirely Italian, but it definitely is Italian. Now, I've never heard of Rave Review, but like I would give this look a Rave Review. It's very colorful, it's very lacy. This is beautiful and sexy and hot. Boromi, a legend and icon of star. And there's so much. I mean, I'm not gonna take it off the hangers again because that went badly the first time, but it's so nice to see all of these sort of cool young up and coming designers being showcased in such a lovely way. And there's more, like there's a whole other section. I mean like more Flora. She's a little bit more fall, Christian girl autumn vibes, but we're into that, we'll take that. A suede experience, Gucci, 1970s. Suede, leather, that's the brand. That's what we know it for, that's what we love it for. I mean, look at her, a little bamboo baby. Again, thank God for the bamboo, iconic. Where would we be without her? I don't truly know. A beautiful little espresso cup. I've been in Milan for like four days at this point, have not had an espresso. Don't really plan on it because I don't love coffee, but like I would have an espresso out of a Gucci cup. The Gucci Vault website obviously has a section on different porcelain styles. Now, these are not exactly the same as the ones that we were seeing. These serving dishes were originally released in the early 1980s. Now they obviously have the Gucci flora motif on them, whereas the ones in the pop-up just have the sort of little Gucci stripes on the top, which also were very chic and very cool. And again, more sort of mushrooms. I love a fantastic fungi. Red and the green stripes on this bag. I don't even know her. She seems new, but she seems old. But she seems new and old at the same time. Wool coats, florals with a black background. Stunning. A gorgeous, I don't know, 1970s little skirt moment. I'm making up her decade, but like she could be from the 1970s with a little stripe. More Jackie bags matching the luggage from over there. There's like a little tiger. I remember Alessandro Michele with the tigers. He loved the tiger. He's always bringing a tiger around. You saw it on the shorts, you saw it on the bags, you saw it on everything. And now you're seeing what her reference is. Look, little sparkly lady with a tiger. So intriguing to see all of this product, which in reality is most definitely probably inspired Alessandra McKaylee's work. I don't even know what these silver things are with the animal heads, but I like them. Thank God for archives. Okay, so we're in another room. Now, as you can probably tell, there is a kooky crazy amount of little pipes. Each of them is like telling a poem and they're discussing different designers or discussing different aspects of design and fashion. I am at a crossroads where past and present collide. Poetic. So we're now taking you to a very exciting, cool, fun room. Look at this, people. Conveyor belt. And also again, like Gucci reference. Now, do you remember the collection when the girls were on the conveyor belt? Well, they were girls and boys. Remember that was a thing, that was a thing, that was a Gucci thing, it was exciting, it was fun, it was cool, it was kooky. Look at that one, it's like the rainbow. I don't know, it's so cute, I could watch this all day long. I think this is coming towards the end of our tour. I'm kind of obsessed with what Gucci has come up with so far for just a one day pop up, but like you're getting the inside scoop, so you're welcome. That is the end of today's video. Honestly, I really love this whole concept that is Gucci Vault. I truly feel like 16 year old me would have gotten so much out of this website. And I hope that everybody that loves fashion wants to learn about the history of these brands is able to use this as a way to genuinely get an education on the different ideas and motifs and meanings behind a lot of Gucci designs. I also genuinely think it's a great sort of place to not only learn, but also to shop. It has a real care and detail put into the products that we are seeing be reissued and sort of being updated. And the other thing is October 15th, which is the day this video is out, there is a whole new set of products dropping. I mean, Comme des Garçons ex Gucci is exhilarating, I will say, but there are also gonna be a bunch of different other products too. So keep up to date with the Gucci Vault website because it's going to be updated more often than not. So I would be keeping myself in the know about the site. It's gonna be a continual thing from Gucci. And so you might find something that you've never even seen before and you might be obsessed with it. So keep on that website, vault.gucci.com. And there's a link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one and TTYL.